Hello everyone, welcome back to Adventures in Arcane Space. Before we uh, go on to the introductions, uh, uh, we do have an announcement. Um, we will be adding two new players next week. Uh, we had a number of uh, people interested, however, for the most part, uh, um, people couldn't swing the times, which is very unfortunate. Uh, maybe in the future, if things change again, um, they will be on the top of my list. Uh, but since there were only two people who could actually swing the time anyway, I felt, you know, let's, uh, let's go ahead and um, bring them both in. So that will be next week. We'll be adding Kijikun and Eruyaru slash Daikami-sama. So uh, uh, look forward to that next week. Anyway, without further ado, our players are... Hi, I'm Hegemus, Corporal First Class, and I play a gift fighter. Hi, I'm Bait. Um... <laughs> <laughs> big matchup. I play Braxton Miak, who's a human fighter from an asteroid near Brown. Hi, I'm James. I play Akar, human paladin from Brawl. Hi, uh, Lemily Sana, uh, elfin wild mage. Hi, I'm Zach. I play Lafton Mingulade, a specialty priest fee from Realm Space, master of procuring items from fallen off wagons and Master of being fleeced, apparently. Master of having items pre procured from them by dragons. Mm. <laughs> Details. Master of being in practice, the master of being set on fire. That's true. Well, well, I mean, Leva, Yeldon, and, and Laftal were, were also set on fire. Well, I'm talking about the one time at the fort. Yeah, Braxis. but Laftal Braxis got set on fire that, on fire. that time, too. Oh. Brax has set light to himself. Yeah, and so did Laughter. That was funny. We both rolled once. Yeah, that was that was pretty wonderful. Anyway, um, we have uh, some hit points to roll for Ocker, I believe. Oh yeah, you leveled up. Yeah, so uh, rolling d10. Unless, of course, you want to take the uh, um, the five. It's up to you. Roll, 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 roll. roll, roll. roll, roll. No, it's it's up a to game you. of rolling, but yeah, <laughs> if, yeah. He's rolled. Oh, oh! That looked like a ten to me. It did look like a ten. I believe your. Uh, I believe your constitution is uh, fifteen. Plus one. Yeah. Okay. So you get three hit points. Yeah. So Sorry, I moved my laptop just as you rolled. I have uh, fifty-one HP. It's still pretty good. I think you. What What are you at, uh, Braxton? Uh, fifty-nine. I think. Let me check. Yeah, 59. That's still pretty good. Anyway, um, all right, so uh, we are on the uh, Rock of Brawl. Uh, party has returned, and I do believe that uh, Ocker and Laftal had some things that they wanted to do. Um, yeah, I do as well, but I can go last. All right, well, it's, Laftal uh... doesn't want to be fleeced. <laughs> oh, come on, he loves it. All right, well... <laughs> uh. We'll start with Ocker. Okay. First, uh, I want to find a maze to cast that can cast Legend Lore. Okay. Uh, that will run you um, a thousand gold pieces. That's fine. I just want them to cast Legend. Uh, legend Lore is only for one item, right? Yes. Then I want them to cast Legend Lore on the Cursed Shield. Okay. Hmm. Let me actually pull up my description of that shield so I can refresh my memory on uh, what the history of it was. Alright, so uh, you inquire at the uh, uh, Mage's Guild, which uh, is... Let me see, am I on? Yep, I'm on the right thing. Uh, that is here. So you uh, you pay a visit to the tower and uh, acquire within uh, as to someone willing to cast a, a legend lore spell for you. And uh, there's some um, you're you're kept waiting for a little while while one of the uh, the clerks um, visits the various laboratories, um, and uh, you are finally brought into the laboratory of a wizardess who. Uh, has been uh, who has said that she is willing to cast the spell, um, 
and uh, after your introductions, she says, "Now, uh, what item was it that you wanted to see, wanted to uh, to determine the history of?" This. Uh, it's a. It's a. It's apparently a cursed shield, and I wanted to know why it's cursed. I, as I show her the triangular shield. Uh, she studies it uh, for a moment with that before touching it, and um, it kind of gives some hmm, hmm, nodding as she's doing so. Um, yes, yes. Uh, put it on the table. I'll I'll get the spell ready. Okay, I'll put it on the table. This is where the spell doesn't work because it reattaches itself to Arca. Alright, she uh, casts a spell and after a little bit uh, she says ah, hmm, alright, this uh, this shield um, it was apparently a uh, a dwarven shield uh, it seems that the owner of this shield some many centuries ago um, betrayed his clan. Uh, it seems that brought down some sort of uh, curse upon him and uh, his items. Um, uh, it seems that that is the uh, the cause of this curse. Uh, it, it does appear that the before that the uh, shield was quite powerful in its uh, protective effects. Um, but now, not so much. She gives you some additional information, but, uh, um, like the, uh, the name of the dwarf, uh, you don't know, and, um, the sphere that it's from is one that you've never heard of before. Huh. Oh, well, what do you suggest to do with it? Well, I mean, um, it... Certainly is a nice looking shield, uh, just to refresh your description of it. Um, it's uh, dark blue with a gold edge, and the front uh, has a pair of crossed axes in gold. So you could always just use it as a trophy, put it up on the wall, and inform everyone that, uh, you know, not to actually use it. Um, otherwise, uh, it is a cursed uh, item. You could always, uh, dispose of it, destroy it, or something. Do you think taking it to a dwarven temple would help? Do you think they could do anything about the curse? They might, but, um... I, I know very little about, uh, the dwarves and their abilities in such matters. You would have to speak with them, certainly. Yeah. Uh, another item of note is uh, this amulet and it's a uh, I detected evil from it and uh, I was going to go talk to my temple about it but figuring out what it's about first might be the best course of action you would like me to cast another legend lore on this item yes I'll cover the costs all right uh, unfortunately I have expended my spell for the day um, if you would be in willing to come back tomorrow I could do so Okay, I'll come back tomorrow. Until then, I'll go inquire with the dwarves about this healed. All right, I will see you uh, then. Thank you for your custom. Okay then. And I, I, I'll salute and then head out. Okay. Um. So you're gonna make your way to the uh, the dwarven district and find one of the temples. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the, uh, easiest temple to find, uh, being not terribly familiar with, uh, with the Dwarven District's, uh, um, temples, uh, is a Temple of Moradin. A Temple of what? Moradin. He is the, uh, the chief of the Pantheon. Okay, then I'll head in. Okay. Uh, you are greeted by, uh, um... An elderly dwarf with a uh, white beard uh, as you enter, and he says, Ah, we do not see too many humans. What can I do for you, young man? Uh, yes, I'm Akar, a uh, human paladin of fear. I came to ask about a shield that a 
had come into my possession. It is apparently uh, cursed and was once earned, owned by a dwarf. And I was wondering if there is any way that I could, uh, if any way you guys could help me deal with this curse. Well, uh, let me let me see what uh, what that shield is. Uh, you you okay. tell him the uh, information that you got the the clan and the the name of the dwarf and everything. Yeah, and show him the shield. Uh, he he studies it for a bit and says, "Well, uh, I can definitely detect some divine presence uh, in the workings of this." Uh, uh, you you were looking, hoping that the curse could be lifted, is that? Uh, yes, because apparently it was a rather powerful shield before it was cursed. Hmm. I uh. I was hoping that if the curse could be removed, it could be used for uh, fighting evil again. Unfortunately, um, the work of the gods is not so easily reversed. I I do not think that would be possible. Unfortunately. Disappointing. Uh, it is a uh, historical relic. You could always uh, donate it to uh, uh, one of the temples here. Uh, we would be happy to take it. Um, it it uh, has a historical, uh, you know, worth in that regard. Even if it would not be used in uh, fighting. Yeah, I I'll donate it. Thank you, thank you. Uh, should you uh, need any assistance, please do not hesitate to stop by and uh, inquire. We'd be more than happy to help anyone who is a uh, friend to dwarves. Uh, I'll nod and hand over the shield to him. Yeah, he, he takes it and uh, um, calls over an acolyte and uh, you, can, you can hear this. He's not speaking as if he's trying to uh, hide the information from you or anything like that, but he's he's not speaking loudly, he uh, says to a, uh, an acolyte, "Now this, this shield is uh, has powerful uh, cursed magics on it. Do not uh, um, use it. Be very careful with uh, how you handle it, but uh, go put it up in the Hall of Records. I think it would look nice there. Don't wear it. Uh, I know from experience that uh, if you wear it, each time you try to put on a different shield, it'll just magically appear on your hit, on your arm again. Yes, uh, those, those are typical of uh, curses and the like. We do thank you. We do thank you for the returning this to the Dwarven people. Uh, where did you get it, did you say? Oh god, I can't remember. It, was, it be, was it the Beholder, then? It was yeah. on Arcane. Yeah, Beholder I'm gonna place. tell... Yeah, I was on, uh, Ar Arcane? Refuge. I was at Refuge, and we were clearing out a Beholder den for the Arcane there, and we found a dead dwarf who... We, uh, uh, he had shield plate and all this other stuff, and I decided to use his shield because we detected it as having powerful magical protection. And ever since then, I started getting hit a lot easier. Mm -hmm. uh, we, uh, donated the armor to a dwarf friend of ours. He was helping us out with, uh, an, an asteroid. I think you didn't donate it. You used it as payment. We gave it to him. <laughs> you gave oh, yeah, it, used well, it as um, payment. Yeah, we... We gave it as payment. We gave the armor as payment to a dwarf friend of ours. Ah, uh, well, it's good to see that it, that has returned to uh, our people as well. I do thank yes. you for returning this as well. The weapon I think I gave to a dwarven temple on Radal. Because he had a warhammer, and I think I gave it to them as payment to help a friend of mine. Mm. Who, got, who got hit by a, uh, a wraith. And, and uh, those items were not cursed either? Unlike this one? I honestly have no idea if they were cursed or not. Uh, I know that they were magical. Hmm. Well, they are back with the Dwarven people, and that is, that is what is important. I do thank you for your assistance to our kind. Yes. Uh, thank you. Now, I inquire with a mage later about a amulet. Okay, so you return the next day uh, and pay another thousand gold pieces for the uh, um, legend lore. Of the amulet? Yeah. Okay. Uh, she examines it and uh, casts her spell. And... 
after finishing the spell, she says, hmm, this, this is a quite a potent, uh, necromantic item. It has the power to both protect you from the devastating effects of uh, undead such as whites and uh, the like, um, but it also has the power to turn that back on other living creatures. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. She gives you a little bit of uh, background information uh, that it was owned by a uh, um, uh, a necromantic priest uh, of a cult that you've never heard of on a world that you've never heard of. Um, <laughs> Obscure Mc... <laughs> well, you know, it helps when there's uh, so many uh, spheres and planets that you will never actually uh, end up going to. I don't have to detail all this stuff. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so uh, um, she does also tell you that uh, um, the device itself is uh, over a thousand years old. It is, it is quite old. Um, but still mm -hmm. very potent. So what's it do? Wow. It protects... It redirects and the energy to someone else well yeah, that's that's what she uh oh so you do get for. level drained someone of your allies or someone else gets level drained i think well, yeah that's yeah, good if I you're think alone good, i think it's a good idea to take this to my temple and have it destroyed what is it clearly something evil no that's not necessarily evil <laughs> it's necromatic it's... It's well, too bad. Right. Not with... And it redirects the negative effects of undead beings into other living beings. That's clearly evil. Yeah, but if you get a wizard, does does it specify that it has to be undead? Because if it's the wizard doing energy drain, that's that could be redirected. Thank back you at for him. your information. I need to go consult with my temple about this. Yeah. You're right. So well, okay. I'm. Always happy to uh, assist those willing to pay. Thank you again. I nod, and I'm going to head out and head to the Temple of Tear. Okay. Sounded very doleful neutral. All right, so uh, um, the high priest of uh, the temple is uh, Arngrimmer. He, uh, he sees you. Oh, my son! It has been quite a while. How have you been? I I've been good. I was off uh, on a... Rather crazy adventure in Radol. Oh, indeed. You must come by and tell us all what uh, what you've been up to. But, uh, yeah, I see yes, that you, sure you seem to have... Yes, I'm sure a I fought many dangerous beasts. Oh, and indeed. I'm, I'm sure those tales would be uh, more than... Uh, I, I think the Acolytes would be more than eager to hear those tales, but I see on your face that uh, something is concerning you. What What is it, my child? I've come into possession of an... Amulet of sorts. It's, uh... Uh, on my journeys. It it detected as evil, and I recently got a Legend Lord to figure out exactly what it does. Uh, I'm gonna sit down with him and explain what I've learned about the amulet and place it on the table so that he can see it. Hmm. Hmm. Indeed. This, uh... does sound like a potent item, but, uh does seem that it has a uh, taint of evil in it. Yes, sir. Uh, I wanted to get your advice and, if possible, help in disposing of this evil. Well, um, it is a tool, and uh, it is generally the usage of a tool that makes something evil or not, but uh, um, you might be treading dangerous ground if you were to keep it and use it. That would be up to you. But uh, the temptation to use it might be, might be high. Um, if you would rather have it destroyed, we would be more than happy to assist you in that. Yes, I think I would rather have it destroyed. I, I think the temptation of using something powerful like this in such an evil way would be too strong for me. Hmm. That, that is, uh, that is wise, my my child. All right. Um. Let us, uh, let us get some of my, uh, brethren together, and we will see what we can do. Um, so, three other priests of substantially lower level, um, uh, are summoned, and, uh, over the next hour, 
Um, and together they, uh, and with you, um, spend about uh, four hours praying and casting spells, blessing the item, uh, dousing it in holy water, uh, praying, chanting, things of that nature. And finally, um, Ungrimmer casts a spell on a large sledgehammer and hands it to you, Ocker, and says, It is your item. It is uh, up to you to uh, lay the final blow. I nod, and I lift the sledgehammer up and slam it down onto the amulet. Make the attack row. <laughs> it's not moving. <laughs> it's an inanimate object. <laughs> Come on, he rolls a one, he hits his foot, distorts himself. You bring the sledgehammer down on the uh, the scarab amulet, uh, and the object shatters into a dozen small fragments, and there is a kind of a popping sound, and uh, almost the, the sound of an inhaled breath, followed by a... Um, a cold breeze that washes over everyone as the item is destroyed. Uh, Arn Grimmer takes a moment to meditate and says, Yes, yes, I believe the evil is gone from the remains. It has been uh, successfully destroyed. My son, that was, uh, was a good act. It was a hard act to do. It was a very powerful and useful item, but I don't think I... I don't think I had the strength of will to resist it, if it stayed. It is always wise to know one's own limits. Thank you, and should you ever find such uh, items again, please do not hesitate to call on us to aid you in their destruction. Of course, Father. Uh, they collect the uh, the pieces and um, ask you whether you want to keep them, or if they they should just discard them. Uh... I'm going to keep them to at least put on display, to as a reminder. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, laugh to dispel evil. That may have been one of the spells. I. Yeah, There's I know you were uh, hard talking yeah. or something, but I was trying to wrap my head around it. it was dispel evil, spiritual hammer. Dispel evil might have uh, definitely played a part. All right, Ocker, is there anything further that you want to do? Uh, I guess, well, uh, I probably don't have the money for it. I, I did want to look into Magic Armor, but I probably don't have the money for it, so... Uh, the... I think... If you pay a visit to uh, Gaspar's Reclamations, the only armor that they have at the moment uh, is a suit of brigandine with a minor magical protection. It would be plus one. Give me a second. I'm just going to check the stats. The bond is the same. Brigandine's, brigandine's not very good compared to okay, what you want. Then, no. It's much lighter. Yeah, I think uh, Ocker will just go and check on his family and all that stuff uh right now i'm just gonna i'm gonna uh just go on to the left so i'm gonna i'm gonna start eating okay so. all right laugh you uh heading you head over to your thieves guild uh i'm casting blessed watchfulness before i go there because it lasts more or less eight hours <laughs> I i'm just doing you it just because you I'm... don't want to be hit in the face with another pie huh no but unlike <laughs> these are not going to be pies this time <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what it will be, if and anything. Besides, it might it lasts throughout the entire day anyway, so something might happen. Okay. Not say eight hours, so. Alright, uh, let's see. You head to uh, the... You know, I could do so many things. I could do augury, I could do idea, I could talk to various people. No, I'm just going to stay there. What's the worst that could happen, right? Well, the worst thing that could happen is that you die. All right, so you make your way over here. That's uh, building 50. Building 50. Oh, I thought it was a lot higher up than that. Hmm. I mean, it's been a while since you've been here, so. 
Um, the, uh, the front for the Thieves' Guild is a playhouse. Has it been changed at all? No. Does it look different? No, it's it been like a while. Yeah, no, it doesn't, doesn't really look any different. They, uh, they have rotating, so they've... um, you know, minor plays, local plays, stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a, um, arts place as well. And, uh, you make your way in through one of the secret entrances that, uh, you are aware of. And uh, you get down to the underground, um, you know, main gathering chamber, and normally there's, like, two or three or four thieves, uh, you know, resting, relaxing, training at any given time. Uh, but uh, at this time, it's, it's empty. Empty, empty? Pretty much. I mean, there was Ooh, a there was a guard on the door that let you in. Um, oh, uh, and when they let you in, they they they, they say anything? Hmm. Oh yeah, you're gonna get to that bit. Yeah, when they let you in, they they said, uh, um, uh, oh yeah, it's been a while since you've been here. Um, you're gonna be uh needing to talk to Italia about that. Uh, she'll be down there. Uh, uh, find uh, her. Okay. Uh, she is occupying the office that your the last person that you uh, dealt with for uh, paying dues uh, occupied. Jarvis. Jarvis got replaced. You. Is it Jarvis the Grey? Something like that? I know it's something like that. I've got it on my list somewhere. Yeah, something like that. I've got it somewhere. Uh, it was... Jarvis the Grey. Yeah. Jarvis the Grey. Um... And uh, Atalia is uh, you've you've seen her around. You know that she's uh, one of the higher ranking members of the guild. Uh, is that a promotion technically, or is this a demotion fair? Well, assuming that uh, she's doing this full time, it would be a demotion. Ooh. Um, and uh, she is not looking all that happy. Um when you uh, enter and, and, you know, inform her of uh, who you are, um, she uh, pulls out a ledger and flips through it and gives a, a low whistle and says, Well, you've been uh, absent for quite the time, haven't you? I'm seeing that you haven't paid in 11 months. Yeah, I've been occupied. Yes, I see here the that you are one of our... Um, Associates, the adventuring type. Um, mm -hmm. hmm. Well, uh, let's see. This is going to come out to 330 what? gold plus an additional 100 late fee. There was a late fee. <laughs> You've been gone 11 months. I didn't know there was a late fee. I mean, I might set up an account, so, you know. Well, Maybe it's up to you. Stop paying ahead. I don't know. I'll probably look into that at some point if I plan on being gone for a long time. <laughs> I uh, apologize. No, I. I how much that? Four hundred and thirty was it? Yeah, that'll come out to be four hundred thirty. Four hundred thirty. I, I ask what's happened. Um, basically, based on what I knew, it looks like there's been some fighting, but. If, they red masks, and it seems they were involved. Yes, yes. The uh, this mess with the red masks has uh, basically put uh, all of us on edge and uh, required more uh, personnel usage than normal. As you can see, Jerris is out. I'm forced to do his job for him. Oh. oh I'm in town for a couple of weeks. I need help. Yes, you know that. Gives me an idea. Wait oh. out in the uh, wait out in the guild I'm hall. Like... I I will. I need to uh, consult with someone. Am I gonna like this? <laughs> Is uh, Samaria around? Uh, I believe she will be back in a bit. Uh, she's not here right now. All right. I'll just try and catch up with whoever thieves are. That's around. Okay. Um, the, uh, the guild hall itself is, uh, still empty when you, um... Entirely? Kind of... I oh, mean, there, there are offices, yeah. but the doors are all closed. Um, but yeah, right now oh, yeah. it is, it so is So I've just, 
The one thief that decides to come back is being snipped up while he did off for himself. Well, I mean, basically, like, everyone is out doing stuff right now, kind of yeah. thing. Like, they, the, the, uh, um, uh, she, she would all, like, in, in her, uh, um, in a brief kind of description that she would tell you that, uh, um, the Underhanded. protection racket that the, uh, the guild runs, you know, on the great market and the surrounding areas is being, you know, really pressured by the red masks. Um, and, you know, now it's requiring, you know, when, when one or two individuals could go, you know, collect protection dues, um, monthly before, now it's like at least four, you know, with a couple people trying to hide and, and watch for any red masks to come up because the red masks are looking for members of the, uh, the jugglers men and ambushing them and stuff like that. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, you've been, uh, in the, uh, guild hall itself for, um, no more than ten minutes when, uh, another pair of thieves, uh, you don't think you've ever had a conversation with them, but, uh, they, at least one of them looks vaguely familiar, maybe both of them, has been almost a year since you were here, though. What are their names? Uh, Did they even recognize me? <laughs> you're not sure. They do give you a, n- a nod as they come in, but they're in a conversation um, as they do so, and they, they sit down. Um, it's uh, a male half-elf and a female human, um, and the uh, the half-elf uh, does look like he has uh, uh, been injured. Not seriously, but uh, um, he has a, a bandage on his arm, and he is clearly favoring that arm a little bit. Um, but they're in a, a conversation um, as they come in. Uh, clearly, you know, a, a joking conversation uh, about a member of the Red Masks that they were able to ambush and knock out, um, you know, not that hmm. long ago, basically. You, you would come to the conclusion that that's pretty clearly what they were just doing. Do you need me to take a look at that arm? I'm pretty good at... Uh... You're going to interrupt the conversation? Uh, yeah, I just introduced myself. Uh, hey, I've been uh, assigned to you. Let's say I'm on protection racket uh, duty. I've been out of town for a while. Oh, well, having, more, look, uh, uh, having more people around to help out will always be uh, good. You, you say you can do something about this uh, injury? Uh, yeah, I'll just see if I can do healing on it. <laughs> healing proficiency. Just see if I could, would I know if it would help? Give him like another hit point. Um, or would I have to use magic? Go ahead and, and roll the healing proficiency. Because he's probably had to do it himself rather than someone proper. Yeah. Uh, it actually looks uh, um, pretty good. You don't think that uh, um, you could do any Can more? Can I right guess now. is how injured he is? Um, well, I mean, he's not going to be a high level uh, thief, but it's uh, um, no, I don't, a cure light I, wounds, going a out cure with, light wounds would probably going... resolve everything. Hey, a cure light wounds would probably resolve the wound, yeah. If you want I to say to him, Are you true to the thieving deities? Yeah, of course, we are. And I put my hand on this, good, that's all I needed to know. I put my hand on him and I heal him. Okay, go ahead and uh, roll 1d8. Sure, hi. <laughs> nice. Oh, wow, he's been very true to the healing. <laughs> <laughs> You're, uh, <laughs> you never get to heal uh, your party members as well. Um, you know, you, he's you, a thief. He pays homage to my deity, clearly. <laughs> you put your uh, hand on, on the, uh, the wound gently and um, you know mutter the words and... Uh, a faint glow outlines your hand, and afterwards you're like, "Hey, that, that feels fine. Thanks." He uh, takes the bandage remember off, to, and the, uh, the wound is completely gone. I remember to keep homage to you, uh, the deity. Oh, I of course. Um, and with that, uh, they start the 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 pair start talking about uh, um other matters. Um. The you do pick up that the uh, uh, the pair named uh, Jarthalor 
and the woman is named Zavoba. No, I've got to write these names down. <laughs> Can you spell them? <laughs> I will. I will put them into uh, into Discord. How's that? Thank you. Oh, I forgot. Discord hates copying and pasting from this thing. Um, so they they kind of move on to uh, talking about uh, um, other topics. Uh, Jarthalor asks Zavoba if she's seen the uh, uh, the new Elven singer. That's um, you know basically all the rage on on Brawl right now, and um, Zavoba mm-hmm. says that she has, but wasn't really moved by it. Um, she she saw the uh, the singer perform at the Edge Tavern. Uh, is this like a rare event, or is this just you've you've heard you've heard some uh, uh, people talking about uh, um, this new singer? Um, she's only been on Brawl for a uh, uh, short time, obviously uh-huh. traveling. Uh, when, when Zavoba says that she wasn't terribly impressed, uh, Jarth Lore is, is shocked and kind of, kind of dismayed. Um, Zavoba then, uh, says that she's looking forward much more so to the, uh, um, Red Comet cookies. Uh, it's only a couple weeks away until, uh, oh, another batch of I jump in, it's like, I, I, I can't wait for some of them. I've, I've been hearing so much about them, but never got my chance to... Get my hands on some. Zavova turns to you and says, "Oh, they are so good. You will love ah. them." Uh, it, it is. It is. It, it the the bakery gets completely packed though, and you almost have to get there uh, um, uh, at daybreak to even have a chance. Uh, they sell three times hmm. faster than anything else in the market. I might be able to do something about that crowd, distract them while uh, you buy them out. <laughs> that might bring down the watch's ire. That uh, sort of thing is, just tends be to be frowned upon. To them. Yeah. Uh, well, I uh, I plan to be there uh, in the morning, assuming that this whole mess with the red masks is taken care of by then. Uh, at that point, uh, Jarthlor uh, uh, jumps in and says, you know, I, the... Bakery's been uh, closed for the past week or so. Uh, I think they're doing renovations on the uh, ovens to try to keep up with the demand. They, they, they've been selling out faster and faster uh, these last couple of years. So uh, um, I understand that they're uh, improving their, their uh, ovens to get more made. Uh, Wouldn't that, uh... Savoba says, yes, I heard that as well, um, which is a shame. Uh wanted to get some of their uh, delicious honey sweet rolls the other day. Mm. Lafil's probably getting hungry at this point. <laughs> uh, there is uh, a there there is some tea on. Um, they've already gotten themselves some. If you wanted to get some some for yourself, oh, from some, some, yeah, yeah, not not food, but uh, um... no, something to sate the appetite temporarily. Uh, but, uh, yeah, they, uh, a- after that, they kind of move on to talking about, uh, um, the Red Masks and, and what they've got assigned to, you know, for them. Um, sounds like, uh, they are, they've been assigned to act as, uh, um, protection for the protection, ga- uh, dues collectors. Mm-hmm. So they've been on the lookout to uh, ambush red masks and stuff like that and keeping an eye out this for them. This is happening tonight, I guess. Uh, this is like an ongoing thing for them. No, oh, no, no. When am I going to be called up, basically? Oh, um, you, uh, Atalia basically said that you'd be, uh, um, it would just be a short time. All right. Uh, do I have to arrive at a certain time, I guess? No, no, you're just That's... hanging out here. Oh, at right. the guild hall, waiting for right. her to. Um, she said she basically said that she needed to go to talk to someone else about something, and and right. ask you to wait. All right, yeah, no, I'll wait. I'll, um, I can still wander around, apparently. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, there's not a whole lot going on in the guild hall right now. No, but it's uh, like a um, uh, what do you call them? A fence. A fence. Yeah, I was I was thinking that I was like fleece, fleece, fleece. It's not fleece. <laughs> Um, they don't actually have a fence in the guild hall. Um, yeah. Basically, there's a few shops uh, out in the... Yeah, uh, I know, because I bought my Unholy Water from here at one point. So. Um, well, I mean, they have some some illegal things for sale that you can purchase, but uh, unfortunately, the person who normally handles that has been called up and the storeroom is locked. Um, Ooh, so they do really sell some illegal really? stuff here, but for fencing purposes, like you wanted to sell something, you you do it out with a, a select group of uh, fences out in the city, because that also gives them plausible deniability. So there isn't just like a uh, always a a string of things coming back to the guild hall. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, after about fifteen minutes, um, uh, Atalia opens her uh, the door to her the office that she's currently using and uh, uh, looks out, sees you, and says, Laftel, uh, if you could come in for a moment. Sure. So, right. um, coming in, uh, um, she says, since you've been gone for such a, a long time, a... An opportunity has presented itself. Um, oh. You shouldn't be known to anyone in the city of that nature. Um, the issue with the red masks may have something to do with uh, uh, another incident, uh, or it may not. We haven't been able to determine that. Obviously, you know that the uh, theater upstairs uh, uh, operates as a front. Uh, many of our thieves uh, operate as actors and uh, comics and, and musicians for uh, productions. Yeah, many of my um, own church on West and Winter Space were doing the same thing. Mm-hmm. My priest did. Um, three of the actors have gone missing. Oh. They disappeared a few days apart. And we had assigned two individuals to attempt to find them. Uh, mm. Disappearances are not the modus operandi of the Red Masks, which is why we're not sure that they're actually involved. They may be. Uh, it may be something to rule out. But... You don't think they've tank out, do you? Uh, it's possible, but uh, certainly they, they were loyal. They've been with us for many a year. Uh, and mm. the likelihood that they would join an upstart like the Red Masks is very low, and needless to say, the juggler would not be pleased. However, if that is the case, um, your job would probably be to dispose of them. Uh, mm -hmm. So we had assigned two other thieves to look for them, Woolrith and Melrana. Oh, I think I know Woolrith. You do. Unfortunately, really they to... have not reported in in a number of days. Oh. Wolverf is pretty good at keeping hidden. Yes, that is team. that is why we are so worried. Hmm. So what we would like is for you to attempt to pick up where they left off and figure out what has happened to uh, the three members of the troop. And, of course, Wolverth and Melrana. Mm-hmm. Can you tell me the other naming Discord? Uh, Marana. Marana? Mel Marana. Mel Rana. The actors who've disappeared are uh, Caden, and Taxos, and Yusian. Um, Why are you giving me so many names? Because people have names. And I have to make up for not naming any of the uh, crew on the ship. <laughs> I'm putting this I in. Can... Yeah, I, I would very much appreciate this. There you go. I'm going to forget otherwise. Uh, oh, can I get the name of the other thief that? It's Melrana. M-A-E-L-R-A-N-A. -E -A. <laughs> that one's easy. But yeah, you do know uh, of Woolrath. You you did me meet him before, mm -hmm. and you did uh, work with him. Um, She says... Uh, so as I said, it's possible that the Red Masks are involved 
but they haven't made an attack directly against the playhouse, which hmm. I heard one would think that they would if the cover had been blown and they figured out that the actors were involved. Um, but uh, we obviously cannot uh, um, ignore that possibility. So hmm. the juggler herself has requested that you look into the matter. Wait, she's in there. I'm not saying this out loud. I'm thinking she, she's obviously just spoken. To them. Hmm. Well, yeah, it makes sense that I wouldn't be known to them. Uh, where were they last seen, or should I inquire above? Uh, you'll probably want to speak with uh, the troop upstairs. I, I do not know much beyond this, unfortunately. I. Uh, it was Jarrus who gave the uh, um, assignment to Woolreth and Melrana. Hmm. Lord knows when he'll be back from his duties. Yeah, you don't look too happy taking over his role. Of course not. I should be burgling the high city right now. Hmm. Indeed, I've been away for too long. All right, I'll go upstairs. I guess. Uh, you, uh, you could also speak to Samara. She may, they, they may have uh, spoken with her. I, I do not know one way or the other. Oh, yeah, I was meaning to catch up with Samara at some point. I just did for a favor a while ago, but it's been like a year. Mm -hmm. Hopefully she's not forgotten. Mm. Oh, she doesn't forget much. She's good much. with notes. All right, so uh, um, with that, she uh, kind of, you know, gives you dismisses you unless you have some further questions for her directly. No, I, um, I guess I'll go and inquire to the free house, Caden, Ax and, and Taxos, and Taxos. <laughs> oh God, I hate these names. <laughs> you see him? You see him? Yeah. I got that one right. I hate. You. All right, so uh, do you want to speak to Samara first or see if she's there? Uh, yeah, if she's about. Okay. Um, as you are getting out of uh, speaking with Italia, um, you almost bump into Samara uh, heading into her little cubbyhole office. Uh, she's, she kind of blinks at you surprised. Oh, Laftel, uh, it's been quite a while. Yes, it has. Uh, well, what's going on? So we're here. Hmm. The Red yes, Mask is, is stirring up trouble. It's keeping us very busy. In fact, I, I, I haven't even been able to uh, do all of my regular duties with this going on. Yeah. Ah, uh, seems I've been uh, tasked with a uh, job. I'm uh, trying to pick up the job where uh, Jerris and what was your name? Warworth. Maria. Warworth. Well, Warworth and. and or not. Yeah, uh, them. Uh, yeah, it seems that like I've got to pick up their previous job where they were investigating uh, Axon. Uh, not Axon, Caden. <sighs> EC and and and, and Taxi. Oh, like, I'm having so much fun here. I am hating you every minute. <laughs> which, 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 is, which is worse, the names or losing the uh, ring of uh, X ray vision? No, losing the ring, obviously. <laughs> uh, hmm, going to have to try harder. Um, at, at that, she uh, she kind of, her eyes widen a bit. Oh, um, yes, come in, come in. Um, I, I don't have much that I can uh, give you, I, uh, but I, I can give you what I told uh, uh, Woolrith and Melrana. Right. Uh, they have not reported in, I take it. Uh, apparently not. Hmm. Yes, well, um, so I, I guess I will tell you what I told them. Um, so each of the actors uh, uh, oftentimes makes uh, extra money entertaining at uh, other taverns and playhouses. Uh, it's not regular work. Uh, we don't keep track of that sort of thing. It's uh, up to them as long as it doesn't interfere with the duties. It certainly uh, keeps up the cover of of being uh, actors with a troop and uh, such mm -hmm. like. Um, let's see. I 
I don't actually have information on where they may have been uh, last performing, um, but the actors upstairs might. Um, I suppose I could do a little bit of uh, asking around. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to be going from tab to tab. Yeah, that, uh, that might be. Uh, certainly are I... worse things you could do, right? Uh, she gives you a little nudge uh, and a wink. Gives what, a being little... eaten by a dragon or something? Hand motion of, of drinking from a, like a beer stein kind of thing. Well... Going from tavern I've, to I've... tavern means you get a lot of get get a lot to drink. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Afterward, realize this. <laughs> I might not. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Laughter likes to sample beverages, but he doesn't like to give himself too drunk. Not when he's on the job. Oh, certainly not. Well, uh... um, I I will certainly uh, ask around if uh see if I can recover find any anything. Um. If I do find anything, would where would you like me to uh, relay the information? Uh, I'll come and collect it here. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah I'll just collect it here. Yeah. Uh, is, uh, is, our, is our contacts still around? Anyone that I should know about that isn't within our... Associates like uh, Caden, Scribe, Kaladar, I mean, Kaladar. Well, I mean, you could go speak with the actors upstairs, see what they know. No, 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 no. I mean, because uh, it's been a while, as if any of our associates been killed off or something like that. Has anything changed? So if I go see Kadar, he's not like Tanker or something, something that I should know about. He was a scribe. Oh, um... No, no, he is not. Uh, she she tells you that the only two um, thieves who've definitely been killed uh, are uh, yeah. She she gives you their names and they're not and they're they're no one that you've uh, encountered in the guild. All right. Um. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll go make inquiries upstairs. Okay. Uh. So the uh, um. The actors uh, you would know are all members of the guild. Um, most of them either do burglaries or con jobs, okay. swindles, that sort of thing. Uh, you know, creating disguises. Mm -hmm. um, Laughter likes this disguises. And uh, the uh, there are a number of actors up there. Um, Any of them look out of place that I don't recognize? Uh, I mean, it's been a while. So there's yeah, seven of them, I... and you never really knew them very well to begin with, so you couldn't say. Uh, I mean, you may no, have... none of them realize me, recognize me. Not really. Would I? Would all right? Then I want to. See... Is there somewhere where I can change my facial features so I look a little bit different? I mean, there's a bathroom. Yeah. There are bathrooms well, actually, in the no, yeah, place. Yeah. All right, never mind, never mind, never mind. I'm thinking too much into this. I know, I just go up and talk to them. Okay. Uh, so the... Uh, do you want to like kind of go in order? Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, so the first one that you uh, find um, is a female half-elf. Uh, her name is Astasha. All right. <laughs> More names. At least that one's easy to pronounce, Astasha. And I mean, you're you're like, what kind of information are you looking for? Let's let's do it that way, like, rather than over. Uh, what their past? Like um, so primarily, I'm looking for Caden and and Texas and you see him. That's my primary job, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'd be looking to inquire about. If they if they make frequents at any known taverns or stuff like that, where they last seen stuff like that. Um. So they uh they tell you that uh, um. They don't know exactly what uh they were last doing. Um. 
they didn't all disappear together. Um, it was uh, um, multiple days apart. Uh, and, you know, getting going by the information, um, it, it sounds like... Uh, Do they have any friends and family that know of them? People that, obviously, other than us, might know if they've gone into hiding or something. I mean, it's probably better if we go to the Thieves Guild if you want to hide, but never know. Yeah, I mean, they, they're, the Thieves Guild is very good at, at hiding, and as far as they're concerned, the other actors are concerned, the only reason to hide without telling the Thieves Guild, without letting the Thieves Guild know, is because they're hiding from the Thieves Guild, from the Jugglers' men themselves. Yeah. Um, Yusin was the newest member. Uh, he's only been with the uh, uh, the troop for three months. Um, when did the attacks with the red uh, masks start? Uh, let's see. Is it around three months? No, no, it doesn't doesn't match up. It's about two months. Uh. Um. Well. Mm. So no, it's, it's been. It's been, any, it's been, been sorry. The... It's been less than two months. Um. So he's been around for a while before the attacks yeah. started to yeah. happen, but doesn't rule them out as an informant. So. Um, but they they're pretty sure he wasn't. They 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 do, you know, they they do due diligence and stuff like that. Um, they uh um. The last one to go missing was uh Antaxos, uh, and he disappeared five days ago. Hmm. Five days. Um, Yusian disappeared before that, and that was eight days ago. Five days. Yusian was eight days. Yeah. And um, sorry, Caden, what was Caden? Caden was nine days ago. I'm just making notes. Uh, it's not looking good for. In Texas. Oh, um, Caden, I mean, because it's nine days ago. Hmm, are there any, like, associate groups, like uh, other barred places? Like, uh, are there, like, performance troops, I suppose, other than the taverns, I suppose? Uh, there are at least, um, eight other small playhouse theaters in the middle city, yeah. um, and there's f at least four in the low city. They don't usually uh, um, participate in anything in the low city, mm -hmm. um, but they may have. Uh, and then, of course, there's all the taverns that they, uh, um, you know, they may go and, and sing or play music. All right. Uh, does anyone else know any more information about them as they start making rooms to the other people? They don't really know, um, uh, you know, much about what, uh, uh, what they were doing, uh, like, or when they disappeared, um, other than, uh, let's see, let me double check a, a number here. Um... Caden uh did play at the raised cup. Um so on the numbered list. Thirty six. Yeah, that's down here. Hmm. So uh he, he had mentioned that he was going to play at the raised cup uh the day before he, he disappeared. Like they saw him after that. They saw him after. Yeah, so he that like like that was the night before he disappeared. So he was there during the day, and then he never showed up again after that. Ah, all right. What about the others? Um, any of the others gone there? They don't know that any of them uh, performed there, but uh, I mean they have in the past, but they don't know if they've performed there recently. Hmm. Uh, so one of the actors lead. does say that uh, they think Antaxos had a uh, um, a minor role in a play at um, 
it was a short run play at a uh, a theater called the uh, Hawthorne Theater. Uh, what number is that? I got me. It's not That's a number. Cool. I'll oh come up with a number. Hang on. I'll let me just make a note of the other one. Uh, I know. So uh, in tax in taxes was at thirty six. Was he? Yeah. Sorry. Taxes paid days ago. Alright, uh, yeah. And so whereabouts was the other one? The uh, the Hawthorne Theatre is um uh, let's see, that would be I'm making this up here. Got a lot of buildings to choose from. <laughs> that is going to be Up near the uh, the Temple District, and it's this Ooh. purple building up here. The light purple one, the yeah. lilac. So let me put a note in there. Uh, sorry, he was that that went missing there. I missed the ping. Uh, it's okay. Sorry. I'll I'll put I'm putting the text in. Okay. Uh, that was um, I think I said that was Antaxos. Intactus. Wait, that was Intactus. Caden was at the uh, race cup. Oh, All right, hang on. And so this one's Intactus. Uh, did you assign a number to it? Uh, I haven't assigned a number. Give me a second. Okay, the H is over the uh, the building in question. Uh, yeah, I'm just writing in the name. Yep. Uh, is that a W? Yeah. Alright. Uh, he disappeared afterwards, or? Uh, well, he was playing. He he had a bit part in a uh play that was going on around that time, uh, definitely for a about four days before he disappeared. Um, they're not sure how long that play was going on afterwards. None of them were involved in this that production, so they don't they don't really know and they haven't gone to see it. Now, so uh I'm doing notes. Ooh. I hate it when I press control Z and my all my notes disappear. Um <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't be writing this in the row 20, it's not very good. Uh, Alright, so he... Sorry, could you re-say that? Reiterate that? He disappeared for... So, um... Antaxos disappeared five days ago. He was playing... He had a bit part in a play that was at the Hawthorne Theatre. Um, and that play was going on at least the uh, the previous three to four days. Before he arrived. Before he well, before that. he disappeared. They don't know oh. if the play was supposed to continue after that. So, like, if he disappeared in the middle of the, the play run kind of thing, they don't know. Because it, it was none of them were involved in it, and none of them uh, went to see it. Mm hmm. All right. Uh, is there any information on UCM? Uh, not really. Um, they don't really know. He he was kind of a, a private individual, so he didn't he didn't really talk about what he did outside of the uh, the theater. And he was good. Is and he was that's that. How long has he been in the group? Uh, only three months, but, uh, he had an amazing memory. He, he never forgot a line in, in the time he's been with them. Never forgot a line? No. Is that unusual? That seems to be... Mm, well, no, it's, well, it's not exactly it's not unusual. It's not exactly unusual, but it certainly made it easier. Was he young for what, how good he was? 
Uh, fairly young. They they think he was like uh, twenty two. Is he human? Was he he was a human, yeah. Uh, and Texas was a human, the... and Caden was a half elf. Adding a bend instrument. You would, by the way, you would also definitely know that uh, um, you can bring in the rest of the party in helping you. <laughs> Just so you know. Uh, like they would. Is there? It, it's yeah, it's not like they would have said no, you can't. But at the same time, but you I... know what they don't know can't hurt them. They, uh, the uh thieves guild for one thing. And uh, also, you don't have to tell is them. There this is there like a kind of thief skill? Would I? Yeah, would I know if there's any kind of reward for this? Because there's no way I'm going to be able to bring in my party without <laughs> I'm getting something for their time. Um, uh, is this just like an expectation rather than any kind of reward? I'm not asking specifically, but would I know? This it is. Other? It is primarily an expectation thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry. You could pay us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Laffle gets fleeced by the GM and the party. <laughs> and NPCs. I mean, it's just going great for Laffle today. Well, don't don't forget, uh, Devin needs to earn back the money that you fleeced from her when she wanted to look after a horse she fell in love with. Yeah. That's true, you did gouge her. Hmm. Uh huh. That's just the uh, laughed all thing to do, though, you know. He didn't see it as a fault with Lever. <laughs> the party did. So he kind of thought, oh, well, if you give me a bit of money, I'll make it go away. Uh huh. I mean, it, it just makes it more interesting, as far as laughter was concerned. Uh huh. You don't hate laughter, not really. You were in love. You didn't know any different. How would you know? <laughs> You're just assuming left and right here. <laughs> I know. I suppose afterwards it was like, oh, why, why, why wouldn't that little cure me? It's like, oh. I suppose it's that. Um, all right. Uh, well, it would what? also be, geez, why, why would Leva not help me? Ah, she, she was standing beside me and she... <laughs> just did something with uh, with the others, but she just left me left out. Uh, yeah, left I wonder me. why that was. <laughs> no, I couldn't have done anything to upset her. You know, like haste and a few other things where she could help. But the, no, no, no. The, the laugh. No, you just got uh, you got to make Higamus age up. Laugh doesn't care if he gets a bit older. But yeah, you I could mean, always. Um... Getting, uh, who cares about getting old for, uh, on of the elves? But uh, in not being able to move fast might be a disadvantage in certain in certain situations. You know, just an idea. Yeah. Just, just uh... sort of uh, putting it out for thinking for. for... <laughs> <laughs> so, go on, Braxton, for a change. Well, I was going to say, uh, I was going to say, uh, Laftel could always ask Orca to help him. Look for some missing actors for free. He's a paladin. Uh, yeah, maybe. Um, what's oh. the? Was there any news on uh, Woolworth and um, Marana? Do any of the actors know? Uh, no. They uh, they tell you that um, what they've told you is what they told them, um, and that was three days ago. Three days ago. Yeah. Hmm. So they both disappeared three days ago. Well, they didn't necessarily disappear three days ago, but they were basically assigned to do this three days ago, and they never reported in. Um, Atalia would have told you this, that they should have. At least to say, yeah, nothing new to report. Because if I disappear, then it's an internal matter. Because whoever is giving out the assignments are disappearing. So yeah, I need to let someone know what I'm doing. Yeah. I have uh, three days ago. Three days ago. I'm just not doing this. Uh, Alright, um. So yeah, uh, I guess this 
not much. Does that, none of them have any family? Um, and Taxos does. Uh, Caden and Yusin don't have any family on Brawl. And Taxos yeah, has a an older sister. And Taxos has an older sister. Uh, all right. Uh, married, single. Does that matter? I mean, she got a family of her own. Or... Um, they aren't sure if she's married or single. Uh, they believe she works. In other words, if she... I just want to know if she lives alone or if she has. Yeah, like... they don't know that, but they believe she works at the Green Galley. The Green Galley is. Is that an inn or something? Uh, is, she queued into what his, is she queued into what her they brother does? You'd have to talk to her. Oh. Uh, Green oh, Galley. Sorry, at what place? Green Galley oh. 103. It's over here. I'm just putting in the numbers in my notes. Higamus has certainly yeah. been to the Green Galley. If anything, it may, be, may even be his favorite place on... Uh, brawl for food. Hmm. Uh, um, hmm. Is it vegetarian or something? Yeah. They cater to uh, um, creatures oh. that don't eat meat. No. I'd probably visit that place occasionally. I mean, I do eat meat, but primarily I don't. Yeah, you, you may have been there. I'm not saying whether you have or not, um, but Hegemus certainly has. Uh, do any of these actors look out of place at all when they're inquiring about me? Are they studying me at all? Can I tell that? No more than Cause... no more than you would consider unusual. Because I haven't been around for a while, so they might be trying to remember me. That's what I'm trying to cue into. Um, no, I mean, like they don't seem suspicious of you, and they don't seem suspicious themselves to you. Hmm. No. Uh, they do seem genuinely worried, at least about Antaxos and Caden. Hmm. I mean, they haven't known Yusian all that long, so... The other two have been with the, uh, the troop at least two years each. Yeah, not too suspicious. Alright, um... Yeah... I mean, they're always on the lookout for other new people. I mean, one of the, uh, um, you know, one of the current troop uh, has only been with the uh, um, the troop for about nine months. So it's not super unusual to get people that, you know, who've only been around for that for a short time. Out of curiosity, do they know of my deity? My, the Phaedrasta? Uh, let's see, none of the humans do, neither does the dwarf or the halfling. I mean, they may have heard, um... Because, um, I didn't, I just make small talk in that my, my deities, my, my followers of my deity, they tend to go around in small troops. It seems like something that they might pass through at some point. Uh, one of the, uh, half-elves in the group, uh, Nemethia... She Nothing. is she and and you know she worships the elven deities. She she the other half elf is was raised by humans. So yeah, so I should be able to make conversation with Nemethi at some point. Yeah, I mean, you could. All right, um, yeah. All right, no, I I let her know she has if she has any questions about Everin specifically. Um, I, you need only ask. Alright, um... Oh, thank you, I I assume this. Alright, uh... I... Alright, then... Yeah. I think I've... done all that I can, I think of. Okay. So you, uh, return to the group to inform them? Uh... Yeah, he's, he's saying that he's going to be... At the very so he... least, you could... Uh, uh, I mean, you can always make a I, story. I know, I, I know. I am saying that I've 
I'm doing a job. I mean, let me put it this I, way. I put the, this... the point the point is is that they know, know if if I disappear, well, they know why. Well, <laughs> no, my the point is is that you are an adventuring group, and you know this is something for the party to do together. So yeah, I know it's a I'm, bit. I'm odd. not I'm not creating something for you to just continually <laughs> do over multiple sessions alone. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know it's so hard. You're forcing me to incorporate the party into my thieves guild stuff. It, it's it's really hard for me to balance to because this is something so against Laftor's nature. What? Why well, do you have to tell the other players it's anything to do with a thieves guild? No, no, no. That's why I was going to play it off like I've got a job. I will give you some time to say think about. Not... How, I'll give you some time to think about how you want to approach the rest of the party. <laughs> Because I think uh, Higamus had some stuff that he wanted to do, so uh, while you're doing all this, he's doing other stuff. All right. All right. So, Higamus, what did you uh, want to do? So, there's kind of four things I wanted to do. Oh uh, my god, one, four things. Four things. <laughs> uh, one, I need to check in with my commander, I guess is what you would call him. Or, yeah, the, the... yeah, the commander over at the GIF headquarters. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if I checked in with the office yet. I do want to get those boots identified because I don't think Leva was able to last time she tried, right? You've, I mean, yes. you, you've been into your office, um, but uh, we can, okay. we can kind of, like, I'm, I'm fine mixing up the timeline on some of this stuff. Okay, and then uh, I would want to visit the dwarf builder person. Okay, uh, let me see. Um... All right, so you meet up with uh, um, you you head to the gift section and um, to Commandant Agathor's office. And yep, I'll introduce myself. Full title, um, a, a, as you do, of course. Um, yep. And uh, he gives you his full title as well, and uh, uh, says, "Ah, oh, good to see you again, Higamus. It has been a while." It has, uh, Commander. Commandant. Commandant. Uh, have a seat, have a seat. What, what, uh, what do you have to report? Well, uh, Commandant, and then I will proceed to go through in excruciating detail <laughs> about, uh, all the things that we've been up to. Yeah, uh, the questions, you know, he has a few questions along the way to get clarification, stuff like that, uh, but, uh, um... When you're done, he uh, he nods. Hmm, hmm. Good work. Good work. Um, unfortunately, we do not have a uh, um, advancement position at this time, but we'll certainly keep these deeds in mind. Um, and uh, I think we do have, uh, um, based on your actions. Um, yes, yes. Uh, he he's like looking over some uh, documents. I will be awarding you. Uh, the Medal of uh, Perseverance in the face of extreme weather, heat and cold, dust storms, blizzards, and the like. This is a, a, a worthy, worthy achievement. Uh, not all of our foes are actually monsters or uh, humans or whatnot. So uh, this is uh, quite quite the, uh, the achievement for you. And he uh, uh, presents you with a, uh, a new medal. Uh, sir, thank you, Commandant, sir. Um, and he says, uh, oh, it's going to take us some time to get some uh, um, new gift together for you two, if you wish to hire them and uh, fill out your crew. Uh, sir, that's understandable, sir. And the, uh, the medal is presented in a box. Excellent. Uh, if uh, that was his uh, signal that he is uh, done with me there, I will uh, salute and uh, head on out of the office. Okay. Yeah, that basically was, unless you wanted to ask him something in particular, get some more information about anything. Uh, no, I don't think anything. Oh, uh, I will ask before I leave. Uh, sir, I've heard that there's been some a lot of disturbances here on Browse, sir. Yes, yes, yes. It's uh, it's been quite uh, keeping us quite busy. That's uh, why it's going to take us time to get uh, troopers together if you want to hire them. Um, yeah, many people are uh, clamoring for our services. Uh, 
Uh, we've, of course, uh, increased our own uh, patrols of the city. Um, keep an eye out for uh, the thieves going to war, you know. Got to get involved in that. Keep them from uh, causing harm. So, uh, sir, so it's been the Thieves Guild that had been uh, causing all the disturbances? Sir? Well, those are the ones that we were, no that we're aware of. Um, uh, you may, may have heard of uh, um, a couple of our uh, troopers got involved in some fight down in Shawtown. Sir, I haven't heard any about anything about that, sir. Yeah, you did last week. Oh, I did? Yeah. Oh, okay, never mind. Um, I wanted to say that. Um, yeah, it was a strange thing. None of the uh, troopers, I've, I've interviewed them, debriefed them. They, uh, they've never seen anything like it. Um, strange, strange creature. It was pretty nasty. Uh, really carved up a couple of them. Uh, they're, uh, they're still recovering from their wounds, but uh, uh, they got some medals out of that, right, let me tell you. Sir, that's understandable, sir. sir. Uh, was there anything particular about this? I can't remember about this monster. Uh, what was it about this monster that was particular? Well, the uh, the troopers said that it smelled just tremendously awful. They uh, never smelled anything that bad, even down at the, uh, uh, the jettison, uh, which that's where it went after after we took care of it. Higgins' ear tussles start to twitch a little bit about that. Yeah, basically that's what they... That's the the big thing that they reported about it. The, the gifted, at least. Uh, sir, uh, is there any um, word about uh, the political uh, upheaval with uh, the Prince stuff, sir? Hmm, well, I think there was an assassination attempt on, uh, um, Princess Alana, um, I, uh, we, we don't, we don't get involved in that much, um, I mean, he, uh, the prince has obviously hired, uh, quite a few gifts to, uh, fill out his, uh, forces quite wisely, as you, uh, maybe, uh, may guess, um, but we don't get involved in the politics, you know, that, that that's for the the small folk, you know, the humans and the elves and stuff like that. That's that's not our way. Uh, sir, yes, I believe that's probably right, sir. <laughs> um, and with that, I'll give him a big salute and I'll head out the door. Okay. All right. So, um. With that, uh, it is going to take some time to get uh, um, more GIF, so, uh, but luckily you're not planning on immediately leaving, so. Um, mm -hmm. What did you want to go do next? Uh, you said I would have checked into the office at some point, but yeah. Um, I guess I need to get those, I want to get those boots identified. Well, so, I guess... regarding the office, um, is there yes. anything in particular that uh, you'd be, like, checking in on? I mean, uh, yeah, pretty a few things, standard. Um, you, the, the shop is, is covered by... Uh, 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 actually, let me double-check to see what part of town that, that is considered to be a part of. Um not sure if it's low town or uh, middle. I mean, the the low city or the middle city, because you do pay protection money to one of the guilds. Yeah, five gold a month. Yeah, so you pay to the yakuza. The yakuza. Yeah. All right. I'll uh, be asking uh, Essalor if there's been any trouble. And, uh, what she's seen around? Um, she says that, uh, they haven't had any trouble, like, uh, what's been happening up in the middle city. Um, she knows that, uh, um, the, you know, there is a conflict between two of the guilds up there, um, with a lot of the uh, shops up there having to pay protection to both places. Um... And and there's been she's heard that there's been some retaliations recently against shops that would refuse one or the other. 
Okay, well, that's good. Well, not good, but... <laughs> it's good that it's not affecting you. Yes. Yeah, so um, you're still paying that protection. Yeah. Well, it's not good that I have to pay that, but... <laughs> Uh, other than business, I guess. that, yeah. Other than that, she, uh, um, I mean, she mentioned some of the other rumors that you guys have heard. Um, people going missing. Uh, she doesn't know much more about that uh, creature that the the gift faced. Um, she does mention uh, the uh, the execution of the person plotting against the prince. But she doesn't really have any information. She didn't. She didn't go attend that execution. Okay. And most, she said, most of the trouble's been going on in the mid city. Yeah, the middle city. Middle city. Okay. Uh, thank her. All right. And uh, yeah, I'll head on to the next thing. Okay, so you wanted to get the, uh, do you just want the boots identified, or do you want something else? Depends on what we get from it. Okay. If, uh, I, if I can't figure out exactly what they do from the identify, then yeah, I might need to do a legend lore on Okay. You could try wearing them. Try wearing them and run around before you even identify them. That's Okay. <laughs> You won't. I will. If you're, if we're around, or well, he's gone off with the boots while you're All right, off doing no other no. stuff. <laughs> no, you'll have to put them on later. No, if he's if he's doing that, I just put something. We should try them before identifying. But if he's done it, he's done it. Try them before identifying, huh? That seems Fun. contrary to what uh, you, you the party has done on a number of occasions. Boots tend to be less disastrous. <laughs> They're... Do they? What if? What if they like? Uh, um, Keep bite your feet off. The ground. What if they bite your oh, feet God. off? What if I can't? No, don't get, take them don't off. Don't get creative. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. How would ten league boots work on an asteroid? Because you can't don't know. physically walk ten leagues, can you? I would have to look at what the rules for ten league boots are. I don't know what those are offhand. All right, let me check the they, price. Please don't make for... them leads away. Let me read the uh, price for um, identify. All right, so it's one thousand gold pieces per item. All right. Okay. Um, the uh, the wizard that you uh, take these to. Um, you have to leave the item with him for a while, and then you return, and he'll uh, tell you what they do. Okay. Because um, it does take uh, quite a while to actually cast a spell. Um, and uh, when you return, um, he's visibly exhausted, um, which you're familiar, you're familiar with uh, that effect from when Leva casts a spell. Um, so he's, oh, she is? I'll have to remember yeah. that next time. Yeah. Which is why you, you never identify things, like, in a dungeon. Takes, like, eight hours? Uh, that, too. Mm -hmm. Um, so he's, uh, he's sitting in a uh, chair by a table, the boots are there, and he says, Ah, oh, yes, uh, um, friend Gif, uh, the, uh, these boots, um, they're designed to, uh, move you through the air. Uh, they, uh, they, they can fly. Neat. Well, Higamus likes flying the most out of us. Oh my gosh, yes. I love flying. Ah, uh, was that the only thing that they could do? Mm, I say yes. only. Yes, <laughs> only. yes. That it, it is pretty powerful was there any in other and of powers? itself. But uh, no, no, they have no other powers. Ah, well, that's, that's still quite, quite amazing there. Ah, oh, yes, yes, uh... I'm I'm sure if you uh, were not interested in that, I I could find uh, a purchaser for them if you wanted. I'm sure that uh, we'll have a use for them. Mm, all right, all right. Well, uh, thank you for uh, for your custom. Thank you. I'll grab them and head on out. You're gonna fly home. Cool to see. Not quite yet. 
But I will. Come on, you know you want to. Wouldn't that be like a wisdom check? <laughs> no. I was going to ask him the same thing. <laughs> Somebody should... startles me, then that's a wisdom check not to shoot them. <laughs> you should really put them on and fly home. At least you know the guy's telling the truth. But then again, don't gift break items. Like no. dwarves. Don't think so. Yeah. Do I they think there, there is a malfunction chance, yes. Yeah. yeah, okay. Well, if it happens, it happens. Does it actually break the armor permanently, or is it just for him? That's a malfunction oh, no. effect. Oh. I don't even know what that entails. All right. All right. So uh, you got that identified. Yep. I guess the next on my list would be to meet with uh, dwarf builders. Okay. Um, they uh, they confirm for you that uh, they have gotten all of the uh, um, assigned work done. Um, uh, they do tell you that. Uh, um, some rock hoppers have uh, basically taken up residence in the area on the rock. Um, they had heard from you guys that you had had contact with them, so they they weren't worried about it, and they uh, uh, the rock hoppers did not have any like interest in occupying the actual cavern itself. Um, so they've kind of like left them as uh, the protection of the uh, the place once they finish the work. I see. Um, I will ask him about uh, um, getting estimates on uh, building out a uh, dock and uh, modifying the insides for uh, quarters and uh, making placements for uh, weapon batteries. Um to be installed. Are you doing this with the idea that uh, you as the party have already decided what you're going to do with the thing, and it's just that you as the character, you as the players have not? Like, do you um, think that, do you think that, that... And this is, this is for time. everyone, this is for everyone. Um, would you guys have already, like, mm -hmm. I mean, you, you've been away for a year. You, you would have had time to sketch out some ideas and some plans and stuff like that. Do you think you would have done this already? I would have approached everybody about uh, what yeah. our intentions were with yeah. Astro. And I'm pretty Gosh, sure that yeah. uh, uh, my opinion was that uh, we were going to use this as like um, to eventually take the place of uh, our fortress from when we fortress and tower for when we get to the appropriate level so we can uh, attract followers and that sort of thing. Sure. No, I'm, yeah, I'm I more think that works. I'm, I'm more concerned about uh, like obviously you as players haven't designed what you want the place to look like. Yeah, oh, in char the characters the would have. In character, yeah, we would have designed it like during the journeys. Yeah, as we uh, come back, we would have come. We have like a big sketch a of, of it in one of our rooms. Okay, yeah, so you would yeah. know what you would want it to look like. Yeah, I'm figuring it would. Um, we were doing this be... during the flights back. We did discussing this over dinner. Someone would have like a blank sheet of paper, and we just start talking and designing it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm figuring we would be storing treasure there, and uh, and we'd have followers there. So we want to we protect. We need a library too. We could have yeah, like no. a recruitment center there, like people go there for like a month if we're due back, and they can. I sign think up. Uh, I think having a forge in the place would be a good idea. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, um, lab and that sort so of yes, we would have been uh, okay. design stuff out during our long trip. Okay, so um, you uh, you talk to them about the plans that you have, uh, what you want uh, designed, and um, he's happy to get to work uh, with a, you know some down payments. But the down payment for what you're looking at would definitely be uh, um, ten thousand gold pieces up front. Ten thousand up front. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will go ahead and uh, uh, write out the writ. Okay. Okay, so Unless then you might hear objects, but I think we have plenty. No, that's what we're doing now. Once we got the ship, we're doing our base. All right. Okay. Um, so yeah, basically they will continue working on it until uh, and, and like 
depending on how long it takes you guys as players to actually come up with what you want it to look like, um, they'll just keep getting more down payments until I either figure that you've paid enough to do whatever you want, or you've actually come up with the plans and I can figure out what the actual costs would be. Okay. Oh, um, the, when we stopped on our way back, uh, how how far along had the druid come along? Um, it had been a year, and there are some spots that are clearly showing some green, but it's still going to take a lot more work. Okay. Um, I can't remember. It's been a year <laughs> in real life. I think <laughs> probably more since uh, we talked to him. Did we pay him up front for the whole thing, or what was the... I deal i can't recall. remember huh I, mean, I honestly don't recall uh, okay you probably would have set up a bank account for him you can x check it out or something i'll i mean i don't think you would have paid more than a year okay so yeah. I, I i can i can i'm fine hand waving that you've paid you okay. paid a year contracts him for a year all right uh just let me know a cost for another year's worth of work or something all right i'll have to look at that up, look that up uh, in between episodes see if i figure see if i had anything like that already if I have that in my notes. All right. I'll thank the uh, dwarf guy, uh, our dwarf friend. Was what this was Urgoth Shatterhammer? Yeah, Urgoth Shatterhammer. Okay. He's the one that went about Oh, yeah. With us. Yeah, the company. Yeah. yeah. He's uh, um, very thankful for uh, your continued uh, um, custom. I appreciate the hard work he does and the excellent quality. And they'll get they'll uh, he'll get uh, um, teams back over there uh, working uh, within a few days. Excellent. Okay. Uh, I guess I have one more thing I want to check out. Mm -hmm. I do want to see the magical item, uh, if there is anything available. Okay. Magic item. Ugh. So uh, you head to uh, Gaspar's Reclamations, and um, they currently have, in addition to the Brigandine on sale um, they have a morning star plus two for 9600 gold a spear plus one for 6000 gold a ring of animal friendship that is uh, in their words nearly fully charged for 10,000 gold uh, and a girdle of femininity masculinity for 5000 gold potion wise they have a filter of persuasiveness for 800 a potion of Diminution for 600, a potion of Frost Giant Control for 1200, a potion of Fire Breath for 800, a potion of Healing for 400, and Oil of Acid Resistance for 1000. Uh, I would like to buy the potion of Fire Breath. Okay. That's 800. 800, okay. Uh... What was the one? A potion of healing for how much? 400. I'll buy that too. Okay. Um, so you said a potion to me. Diminution, uh, yeah. Okay. What was the first one again? It was the. Filter of persuasiveness. Filter of persuasiveness. How much was that one? 800. 800. I'll buy that too. Okay. Anyone else want any of those items? Uh, Higgins not... would have mentioned that he was going to go there and grab things if people. Yeah, have a look whether there, there's any ointment left because we used it all up. They do not That's have any rare. available at this time. What a pity. Yeah, if they have that left, it'd be after. I'm sure you would as well. I think Brax is after a dagger. <laughs> Did they have any daggers at the Thieves Guild? Um, a dagger plus oh, one. Oh no, that would they? Because I would have. Yeah, I'd probably mention that to Braxton if I need a price of it. Uh, give me a second. Um, 
Yeah, they would have a dagger plus one available for a fifty two hundred at the Thieves Guild. Or equivalent services or such things. Yeah. Oh I do have one more thing, Alt, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Uh last time when I was asking, uh you said that uh, I would have to wait on a person that can teach me how to use uh or smelt amantine mm -hmm. or work with it. Is there somebody here now that uh, would be available to uh, teach me that? You had spoken to Arkan Nobreduk. Um, yes. And so you want to go back to him and see, because he, he was going to... You'd asked him to uh, for help on, on learning it. Yes. Um, so you go, you want to go, you pay him a visit? Yes. Uh, well, I'll send a message ahead. I don't want to just show up on his door because okay. he's a noble, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Um, so uh, he does uh, agree to see you, and um, you you visit him, and he says, Ah, yes, uh, I remember you. It's been a, a while. Uh, you were asking about uh, working with Adamantine. Um, so I do know of a uh, an old dwarf in Forge Space who might be uh, um, willing to uh, do this. Uh, teach you what uh, what he knows. Um, he would uh, request that uh, you not share it with others, uh, but he is willing to do so in exchange for um, some task. I, I don't know what that task is exactly, but you'd have to go to Forge Space to talk to him. He's uh, quite oh. old. He would he cannot uh, travel. Oh yeah, uh, definitely. Would you, by any chance, be willing to provide me with uh, layers of introduction? Of course, of course, if you're interested in, in doing that. Obviously, uh, you know, if you choose not to, to uh, take on the work, uh, it's up to you. Um, but you can see him and see what he uh, requests and uh, make that decision for yourself. Uh, yes, I definitely would. I would uh, love this uh, opportunity to be able to learn how to work with uh, that precious mineral okay. or material. I will. I, I've got the information somewhere else right now, uh, but he does give you the uh, the letters um, of introduction. He gives you the the person's name, where they can be found on uh, in Forge Space. Um, so at your convenience, you can go over there. But it is another Crystal Seer, so I'll probably want to head over there with you to, to learn how to forge with that Bantine. So that's uh, um, that's up up to you to take advantage of at a later date, in other words. Yes, of course. Okay. All I right. think that's it for me. Did anyone else want to do anything before? Like, th this may be taking place in uh, the, the first days after you get into uh, Brawl. Uh, um, uh, I want to... Before like... Laftel comes back, like, the kinds of things that you would have been doing before he... Uh... I want to claim... <laughs> well... An item from the player information. Can I get that uh, silver dove small shield? <laughs> it's up to the rest of the players. Well, that's why I'm asking. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm already going to shield, so I'm fine. Brax is not into shields. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Go. Take it. Okay, yeah, I'll take that and that'll be my new uh, main shield for a bit. Okay. Just uh, once you get written down your character sheet, could you please uh, delete from the list? I, yeah, I got that. I'm doing it right now. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Well, Leva would, right. uh, would like to do a few things, if possible. All right. And uh, she wants to learn the command. Well, I don't know whether that's actually possible before Laughter Return. She wants to learn the command words for the wand and... Uh, the other things when command words are needed, and she wants Wait. to learn that or exchange the, the spells needed for the ring. Okay. Um, Can I so interject? So getting the command words would take uh, research. You can pay the for legend lore, and that may reveal it. I don't have the money for that. Well, How much? Do I have it? You should have got a payout. I, 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 yes. How much is uh, Legend Law? Is ten? Is a thousand? It's one thousand. Uh, yeah. Now, now, I mean, keep in mind that other people can chip in if they feel comfortable with that, because 
if you decide that you don't want to use an item that you get a command word for and they can use it, you know, it, it could come out of the party funds as well. So just because you don't have money for it doesn't necessarily mean that it well, can't be done. Just letting everyone know. Well, actually, I do. I do have the money for that. It's just... Uh, it's... You also want to research. It, 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 so. it very it goes down quite quickly for a mage. <laughs> yeah. Extremely quickly. So I tend to Leva tends to save her money for as much as she can. Anyway, she wants to find out. I think she is going to spend the money to get the command word for the wand and the staff. Okay. Uh, I think that would be uh, an acceptable use of company funds for. That's something all of us benefit for. You think so? Laughter's got... Well, he would do it for the mm. cure blindness and disease one, because that's something that benefits everyone, not so much for the one to one I think that might be his own personal item. I also... If you were to approach a Higamus with it, he would be fine with it. I don't think she would do that. She would also take at least one of those rainbow discs you and go you to. You wouldn't mention to the party that you're thinking of going to get this, uh, um, you know, figure out how to actually use this thing. And it was no, because I would bring it up. And Higamus you... would say, "Oh, well, you know, let's just, you know, I mean, this is this is a party thing here. Take some money from the party funds, kind of thing." Yeah. Would I mention it? Yeah, it depends if they if they all gone off to make, to wow. do their own thing, then then no, she would just uh, pack it all up and leave and do it. I did. I did time. mention. <laughs> right, I but did mention to the group that I was uh, going to get the uh, boots identified, and that I was going to go buy magical items. Well, also, like you got the wand and the staff months ago. You had three months of uh, travel time that this could have been discussed. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't mind giving uh, okay. it. Okay, it certainly did come up at some point. So, so everybody knows that I'm going off. So, do yeah. I use? So, I would mention that. Uh, yeah, I would funds. say, uh, in this case here, use the company funds. If this was just personal research, I would say you use your own money. But uh, these are items that probably help us. <laughs> Sounds good. Laughter would, laughter would approach the party as well with the same. Um, request, but for the stuff that I've got for the cure blindness and disease, that helps the party. It's uh, not so much a personal item. No. Yes, I, I would say definitely that would help the company. So at some point, I uh, yeah, that could be covered with the thing when I get around to researching it, but it might not be for a long while. Well, Leva was talking about getting the command words for the staff figured out. Are you talking about the same staff? Because I think you are. Uh, Copy. What stuff are you on about? Oh, uh, that's probably yours. Well, the, the, uh, the oh, if it's the same thing, then it doesn't matter. Necromancy, <laughs> disease, blindness, blah, blah, blah. All right, blah, yeah, blah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I just give you the stuff. You can do it. All right. Okay. So. All right, so you. So that's uh, 2000 pay... from, 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 from the group money. Yeah. Okay. Ha, thank you. Okay, so. You uh, go to get um, those I... legend lord. Um, Can I ask? Because mm -hmm. it, it, it intermingles with Lever, what Lever's doing, because she's going to go to the mage tower. Can I put in a request for her, if Lever, if you could ask a mage if he knows of any spell that makes someone thirsty? Incredibly thirsty, because we've got a ring that prevents that and we need to find out if that's actually the case what he's asking you that when you go to get the the uh, things identified just ask around for a wizard who is willing to cast a spell on someone a friend of yours uh that would make him extremely thirsty and the ring should protect against that we're just verifying it that's all Okay, where's the ring? Who is wearing it? Who is coming away? With... It's in it's in the company thing. It, you're you're just asking for a reference. Yeah. Not not okay. a not to actually have this done right right then and there. Yeah, it's oh, right. can be done in a few days or something. Okay. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, okay. I'll get Braxton to go along and be zapped by spells. <laughs> well, why don't you come with Braxton? Just don't have any of your potions on you. I'm sure the major would say that. <laughs> Yeah, Brax Braxton to go along and look pretty. 
You look pretty. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Do you want some makeup? She can also remove her clothes as well. I can only she do has, that. She accident. has a habit. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Brex. <laughs> well, let's go. I, 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 I will also ask for information on those discs. So I'll take at least one, if not all of them, with me. Okay. Um, the first thing is uh, the getting the legend lore on the wand and the staff. Um, so the staff, uh, the legend lore does reveal the command word. I didn't write it down, so it doesn't really matter. You can just note that you can use it now. Um, the staff is, uh, again, from a distant sphere planet that you've never heard of, um, used by a, uh, uh, a priest of uh, Asclepius. Um, he would go around from place to place uh, using it to cure ills and stuff like that so you do have the uh um the command word for that staff um leva you would realize from this description that it's not something that you can use mm -hmm. what a pity but okay then the wand um this wand was created by a uh, a wizard some 300 years ago in great space um and uh he uh, used it uh, in a number of uh, uh, mage duels with uh, his rivals until he was uh, um, killed and blasted away. Um, but the uh, the effects of his um, that last duel apparently scattered all of his items, so even his rival wasn't able to uh, uh, pick them up. Um, and this wand was uh, one of those items that got scattered, and where it somehow ended up. Uh, then in your hands after quite some time. And you do have the command word for that now. Mm -hmm. Right. And what about the uh, discs? So are you asking them to legend lore the discs or what? No, I, I ask them whether they've seen those before. And if they, if they know what they... What they use for are they the, are those just throwaway items? Once they're used up, they're used up and gone, or how are they used? Stuff like that. Um, you ask around, and uh, of the wizards who are available to ask at the time, uh, none of them have seen anything like that. Um, but a couple oh, of them, them, a couple of them are very interested, in, you know, especially if you describe what what you learned that they could do. They're very interested in acquiring them. Are you going to tell them where you got them? Hmm? Never. Are you going to tell them where you got the disc? Uh, no. So you're just telling them what you've learned they can do? Yes. Okay. Um, so some of them are very interested in, in purchasing them. Hmm. Or trading for good. them, or something like that. Bra Braxton says to Lever, um, "You might be able to get some information about the uh, people that had these from the seekers." Yes, that's the next place I was going to ask. And lastly, I ask for the for the spell. You take you took the ring, didn't you, Braxton? The ring, the which ring? ring? Yeah. Hmm? Okay. Bra yeah, Braxton, just, uh, I mean. This is something that Lava oh, was asking, so, no, bro, so you're, you're yeah, just asking you want... for reference. You're just asking for reference, Leva. Okay. Um, yeah, well, if you want the Braxton to wear the ring, yeah, you wear that ring instead of one of these rings. I mean, Laughter would probably go with you in order to make a load of water available in case there. <laughs> where, right, where... but you you had specifically no, you are you, doing hold, your hold thing. On. You'd specifically asked her to get a reference, basically ask yeah, her yeah, wizard yeah. who could do this, and then you'd go yeah. visit them later. So. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And during that later period, laughter would go with you. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, uh, a wizard does uh, um, tell you. You know, you, you do find a wizard that you can tell um, Laftel that he can go visit. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, now you're 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 turning down the offers for purchase or trade of these uh, these discs. I will ask how much they would offer for them. Um, or for one of them. Well, they basically say, how much, how much do you want for them? 
They're priceless. <laughs> they could save your life. Storing spells that you could say stone skin? Oh. You know. An emergency stone skin stored on and memorized. Yes, maybe. Right, but I mean from no, your description you clearly to, don't know exactly how they work. Correct. We so, we we don't know yet. Yeah. We, we, we assume, but we don't know. So, no, I'm not, uh, Leva is definitely not going to sell them, but okay. she is also not excluding the possibility that she might at a later opportunity. Maybe. Right. But um, at the moment, no. Those uh, those wizards, uh, um, basically, like, at least three of them are, are interested. Actually, no, let me, let me change that. At least four of them are interested, because I don't think you have that many discs. Um, we have three. Right, right, exactly. So, uh, um, four wizards are interested, and uh, uh, each one is basically like you know when you turn them down, uh, they're like, well, I mean, if you if you change your mind, you definitely de speak to me first. <laughs> okay. Bra uh, Braxton, says have... the... Braxton says to Leva, if you think about selling those, we could maybe uh, do a sealed bid auction. I'm not thinking about selling them at the moment. I want to know what they do. I don't sell don't something before them. I know what they do, what it does. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I'm just saying if if you have the details of those wizards, and we do decide to sell, we just get each. You can send one of us as a messenger, and we mm -hmm. get each one to write in a envelope how much they're willing to pay for it. You could, uh... <laughs> money gets, gets them. Maybe you could uh, pay to have it further identified. Who knows. If you know what one does, likely have you know what the others do. Yeah, they're probably the same thing. Yeah. They do look the same, don't they? One of them is... Except uh... that one of them is smaller. Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's the same thickness, but the the, circum the, uh, um, the diameter is less. So, uh, Leva turns to them and this, she says, Well, uh, why would you want to buy them if you don't quite know what they do or do you research of course like this uh -huh. is just one of them randomly like i mean uh, you don't know what they do either this this is fascinating i've never seen anything like it i want to figure out what it does as well okay so what, what, what I will do is, if we don't find out, and if we stay here for a while, I'll come here and we we can do research together on those. How about that? No, yeah, might might be something to consider. I, I might might consider that offer. Okay. But now I want to go. To, Leva wants to go to the seekers. Okay. Um, since we're close to the end of the you know to the break. Um, I will tell you real quick that the Seekers have never seen anything like that, and they are not familiar with the creatures that uh, you, Believe if you describe us. them, um, hmm. you don't know that name. So they, yeah. they, they at least here. Um, I mean, they could do some research and stuff like that, but like offhand, none of the the members of the Seekers know what those are. They seek out knowledge that they don't know. They do. Well, I mean, they're they're definitely interested, but, I mean, if you're saying, you know, here's what they look like, have you ever heard of anything like this? They're they're like, mm, no, that's strange. Uh, we might look that, you know, look through our, our Check materials. Records. If you know anything else, f please feel free to share that information kind of thing. But, no, they don't, they don't know any more information off the cuff. And they don't know anything about those, uh, those discs either. Um... A couple of them do say that they remind them of, like, the uh, prismatic spells, like prismatic wall or prismatic sphere and stuff like that, but um, at the same time, that could just be coincidental. They have really high levels. Prismatic sphere is like ninth, isn't it? More seventh? They're, they're like seventh, eighth, and ninth. I, I can't remember exactly. <laughs> I can never remember which one is which. Um, was there anything specific that you wanted to ask of them? Or was that just kind of like the general information? Leva? It's the general information more than anything. Specifics okay. come after I know a bit more in general. Okay. Yeah, they don't have uh, anything uh, to, to share with you then. Okay. 
All right, uh, we're going to take our break now and uh, be back in about 10 minutes and uh, see if uh, Braxton had anything that he wanted to do. And then uh, oh. Laftel will return to the party. I better think of something then. Well, I mean, you don't have to if you don't have anything that you want to do. <laughs> For the next two hours. <laughs> Perfectly fine if you don't have anything that you uh, yeah. wanted to, to do in particular. All right, so we'll be back in uh, about 10 minutes, everyone.